Hallo. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hey, hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Lakshmi. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, good. Good, 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 good. I'm fine, thank you, sir. Fine, thank you. We are good. We're just waiting for the others to join. How's everybody doing today? Have you guys done abstracts before? Patterns? Yes, we have done. Yeah, so we are going to work with some, uh, an abstract picture today. And we're going to work with some patterns, right? Repeating of certain shapes to create simple patterns. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start. Let's just wait for a couple of more minutes for everybody to join in. And in the meantime, you can take out something for which you can draw some lines. All right. Yeah. And while we are waiting, I just want to show you some of the patterns that I have here. Do you see these? Some of the patterns, what, is, what are some of the shapes used for these patterns? Like triangles, right? Can you identify the shapes? What shapes are those? What shapes do you see mostly in this one? Some what shapes? Lines. lines, triangles. Triangles. Yes, I'll show you another one. Hmm. What do you see here? What shapes do you what see? What shapes do you see mostly in this one? Squares, rectangles. A lot of rectangles, right? And then again, some triangles in it. Um, let's see. One more. What shapes do you see? What shapes do you see in the patterns? What shapes? I think we see a lot of square, rectangles and squares. squares. Right. A lot of squares, rectangles, some triangles. So every time you take a shape and you repeat it, it becomes a pattern. All right. So any shape which is repeated, like if you look at any one of these blocks, not the whole picture, but any one of them, you will see a shape being repeated. Mm -hmm. When you see a shape gets repeated, it becomes a pattern. So today we are going to create an abstract and then within that we are going to create some patterns. All right. Okay. So let me switch the camera and we can start and then other people can join us. All right. So what we are going to do is I've kept my sheet horizontally and I'm taking a charcoal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some lines. Hello, Darsh. We are starting. So just get your materials ready. Okay. okay? Thank you. So we've just kept the paper wide. We're doing abstract today. And you don't have to copy me exactly in this because this okay. is an abstract, Thank right? You. So don't worry about being too precise in what I'm doing. You can, you can do your own lines also. So we are going to just take from one corner to the other corner. I'm going to create three lines. Now you don't have to make the lines like this, right? You can have the lines going from here to here, here to here, but from top to bottom, okay? So make your own lines, three lines going from top to bottom. And then from left to right, I'm creating two lines. Now, again, it could be any, any, any kind of angle you can take, right? So the reason why I'm doing this is so that my paper gets divided into all these different shapes, all right? So I've just, you don't have to copy my lines exactly, but three lines going from top to bottom and two lines going from left to right. Okay, all the people who are just joining, we are starting with an abstract. You just have to make three lines vertical, top to bottom in any angle you want to, and then two lines from left to right. 
Now, when we do this, what happens is that we get these individual shapes, right? We get all these individual shapes. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go into each of these shapes and create a different pattern, all right? So if you, you can copy the pattern that I'm making, or if you know a pattern that you like, you can even use that, all right? So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna choose a pattern to work with. I'm gonna work with this big area first, and I'm going to use, I'm gonna start using pastel. And I'm making this pattern with different kind of circles. Some circles are small. Some circles are big, almost like bubbles, and they are touching each other. So what's inspiring me to make this one is uh, one of them that I saw here. Something like this one, something like this pattern here. Again, you don't have to copy mine exactly. And you can choose the colors that you want. So I'm trying to make these circles by touching their edges. Almost like different shape bubbles, different size bubbles. Okay, so I got all these circles, some are small, some are big. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a really dark color, like I'm taking a dark blue, and I'm going to fill the space in between the circles. So I'm not filling the circles. I'm just filling the space, which is in between these circles. like that, okay? Got to work a little carefully because I'm trying to fill all these uneven shapes which are in between the circles. So you can see that I'm not filling the circles. I'm just filling the in-between shapes or the spaces. Okay. 
And then I'm going to go back to the blue and I'm just going to create like these little lines inside the circle, almost like they are bubbles. Do you see how I'm doing? I'm making these little like thin crescent shape inside of these circles. Okay, so that's my first pattern in the first shape that I chose. Does anybody understand how I made that? Yeah, just circles and then fill the shape inside the circles. And once you're done that, just put a little crescent shape in between the circles. Look here. Yes? And there is no right and wrong in it. You can do it a little differently if you want to. It's just a pattern. All right. So that's our first shape and the first pattern. Now for the next one, I'm going to choose a different pattern from all of these that I have here. So I'm going to go and choose a different color. I will choose a pink this time. And I'm going to work by just creating some parallel lines. Like that. Now you can create these lines in whichever shape you choose to do it on your paper. All right. Then I'm going to go for the darker color and I'm going to just create a zigzag pattern like this. If you want to change the pattern and make it something that you like, you can do that as well. I'm just creating some parallel lines around my big shape. Let me show you up close what I have done here. This is how I have created a pattern. Lakshman, are you able to understand what to do? Yeah? 
And again, you don't have to copy me. You can create your own patterns with your own colors. Also. Yeah. All right. Yes. How do you draw that and all that circle thing? This one? Yeah. So what I did was I just made one circle. Then I made another circle touching that circle. Then I made another circle, which was touching that circle. So I continued to make lots of circles, which were just touching the corners of the other circles. Right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And even if they don't touch it, if you want to just make circles in that shape, that's fine too. All right. Now, since my two of my shapes have a lot of circles going on and curves, I can choose a pattern now for this one, which has straight lines. So let's see what pattern I can choose with straight lines and a different color. So I'm gonna go for a green color and I will just create some parallel lines. And I can create a checkerboard pattern. All right. And then what I can do is I can take this color and I can start filling alternate ones. I don't want to fill all of them. Have you have you seen the checkerboard? And then I can do something different on it. I can go with a lighter green. Oh, I think I forgot to fill this one. And I can create like little squares in between. So let me show you up close what I've done with this pattern. Okay, so I'm going to move on to this one over here. And I'm just going to take a color, a different color. And I will just create some parallel lines. Then I'll just go and fill 
with another color. Not all of them, but the alternate ones. And if you're, not, if you're not able to copy exactly what I'm doing, that's fine. You all know how to make patterns, right? You can just create your own patterns and go ahead and do your drawing, okay? You can create your very, very own simple patterns with just parallel lines, triangles, circles, and just do your own shapes, okay? You can do that as well. So for the next one, I'm going to take another color and I'm going to put a little dot in the center. And I'm going to just, from this dot, just like a flower, I'm going to create these curvy lines, all moving from the center all the way to the edge of this shape. like a spider web of course yeah, exactly it is like a spider web. And then i'm going to take another color and draw some more lines in between if you know how to make a spider's web that can be a good pattern too. So you can go ahead and create that. Okay, let me show you up close how that one is. All right. Next, I'm gonna use another color that I haven't used as yet and for this one, I'm going to go like triangular shapes. You can do a, a dot pattern. What pattern? A dot pattern? Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead and make it, please. Okay, you can make your own new patterns. I'm just making some zigzag lines. Yeah, so Zimek and everyone is taking from uh, each of this, right? Just make it raw uh, on the top, yeah. So we can use it. Now, um, for each shape, use a different color. Let's just appropriate manager. We don't need that in the yeah. Use more than one color. That would be fine. No, I can use that string, right? Over oh, slash. Can you open it? And then I just want to draw. I was telling you this model, status of this manager. Parallel lines. Sorry. So this pattern is based on triangle. Yeah, because we put the time uh, just in interval as four hours. Can you increase it to 30 days? Yeah. You guys, uh, mute your. Uh... No, no, not for today. So, from the. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll just explain, okay, what needs to be done. Now, okay. can you open this is a F4, okay? Can you open this F4? Uh, can can one of you mute your uh, microphone? Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the way the, some of the patterns that I have created. But I'm not going to do any more. If you see the status, it is pick complete, right? So all the remaining shapes that you have on your paper, I want you to create your own. Now, all right. Um, we have the postman ready to get our body samples. I've already what your data we have seen, right? Like this one has okay. This one has some so What happens is, um, I think one of you need to mute your microphone for this particular message. Uh -huh. We should have uh, this particular one. We should have received a Excuse loaded. Me. Can you guys, everybody, please mute yourselves? We, we should your yeah. conversations that's a sheet of another reference patterns a sheet of another pattern so now i want you all to create your own patterns i've given you enough examples over here how to make them all right and i'll put some of these uh, sheets here so that you can see the patterns i'll move the camera a little up. Auntie, look at mine. Oh my God, beautiful. I like those shapes. Continue to create your own patterns. All right. You can repeat some of the patterns that I have made if you can't make if you can't think of anything on your own. I think I, I think I can make it on my own instead. Good. So, I think making on your own would also be a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. So, goodbye. No, why are you saying that? You to finish the work. Make some more patterns. Uh, but I'm finished. No, you sit and do follow the class and do. Okay. Okay then. Yeah. So I have, I have, you can see some of the patterns that I have made and you can see some extra patterns here. So got to choose something or make something from your mind. All right. Should I keep these patterns here or should I remove them? Is it distracting you? Is it too many options? So what you need to do is I stopped in the middle but you need to have a pattern in each of these spaces, right? Each of these spaces, you need to have a pattern. Okay, I can actually continue and try and um, complete it.
So what I'm also thinking of doing is to take a smaller shape and just fill it with two colors. That would be fun too. That's it I can do, okay? All right. Can I see what you did? Okay. No, oh, this is a very big drawing. Very nice shapes. Can you please post it on the group? So that yes. I can see what all you have tried doing? Yeah. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Okay, so some of the shapes, what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to fill it up with some solid color. Fill it up with two different colors. I have one more shape to go and I'm going to fill it with a solid color. A dark green and a light green. Great, that was a lot of patterns.
How's everybody doing? Very nice, Darsh. Pretty. I just have to cut a couple of spots. What? The color and then I'll be done. Okay, it's looking nice. Nice Lakshman, good patterns. Bye. Bye. Look. All right. Bye. See you guys bye. next time. Very nice. Oh my God. So much drawing. Beautiful lines. Very pretty, Suhad. Bye. Bye. Bye, Darsh. Are you done? This is my picture. Very pretty. Um, we're still having a class next week, right? Yes, we have a class. Okay. okay. Just, All right. Thank Bye. you. You're Bye. Welcome. Thank you. Bye.